Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll solve this problem from the book SBD. So we have two elastic balls of masses capital M and small m and it's given that the mass capital M is much greater than the mass small m. They're placed on top of each other with a small gap between them. So these balls are not touching, they have a small gap between them. The balls are now dropped onto the ground with the bottom of the lower ball at a height h above the ground. So the lower ball has a radius of r and the upper ball has negligible dimensions. So in question A, they are, we have to find up to what height the ball of mass M will bounce above the ground. And in option B, we have to discuss if the above obtained result violates the law of conservation of mechanical energy. So I'm going to begin with the solution now. Okay, so now as these two balls are undergoing free fall, both of them will have the same acceleration of G downwards. So after falling uh, through a height H, both of them will have the same velocity of square root of 2GH. And let's say, and let's call that velocity as some u. So both of them will have the same velocity u. Another thing is this big ball will collide with the ground first. And as the collision is elastic, the velocity of approach and the velocity of separation must be the same. So what will happen is the big ball's velocity is now reversed. So it's u in the upward direction. Whereas the small ball has yet to undergo collision, which means it, its velocity is still u, okay? And now after some dt seconds, the small ball will collide with the big ball. Now, as these balls are elastic, now another elastic collision will happen at this intersection point and let's try to determine that. Now, as the collision is elastic, we can say E equals one. Now, as we know the collision is elastic, we know E equals one, which means velocity of separation equals the velocity of approach. Now, the velocity of approach in this particular case is U plus U and let's say after collision, now, it was given in the problem that the mass of this particular ball is much heavier than the mass of this particular ball, which means we can assume the U of this ball remains the same even after collision. It won't vary by much. And let's take the ma and let's take the velocity of the smaller ball to be some V. Now, if we determine V, then our question is pretty much done. Okay, this was the... Uh, uh, so, the approach velocity was U plus U. The separation velocity is going to be V minus U. In the current situation, the ball, the small ball is at a height of 2R from the ground. And why is it 2R? Because, because it was given in the problem that the dimensions of the smaller ball is negligible. And we're talking about just after the collision. So even this small distance is up negligible. So the small ball is at a height of 2R from the ground just after the collision. And it has a velocity of 3U. Now we know that if we throw a ball up with a velocity of U, the maximum height it attains is the speed squared divided by 2g so this is going to be 9 times u squared was 2gh and this comes out to be 9h so the final answer for the h max attained by the small ball is going to be 2r which was its initial position from the ground plus 9h and that was the answer to option a now option b asks us that does this violate the law of conservation of mechanical energy and why so what is the question basically so initially the mass small m is at a height of h plus 2r from the ground, whereas finally it's given that it is reaching a height of 2r plus 9h. So the question is why is that? Okay, so well, uh, my explanation to this question is that the energy is quite certainly conserved because the collisions are elastic. <coughs> okay, so now after both the collisions, the velocity of this ball, we took it as u, but, but actually it is slightly less than u. So there is some loss in kinetic energy uh, of this big ball. The velocity of this ball, small ball here, becomes three times. The thing is the loss in kinetic energy of this big ball is actually equal to the gain in kinetic energy of the small ball. But because of the fact that this mass small m is much smaller than the mass capital M, it looks as if this 3u is pretty high. But actually, the, the loss in kinetic energy of this is equal to the gain in kinetic energy of the small ball. So I hope that is clear, guys. If you, if you have any doubts, you can comment down below and do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching, guys.